Listen up all you Ariana Grande TikTok impersonators. The fun stops now because Ari just made it clear that she doesn't find your Cat Valentine impersonations funny or amusing in the slightest. What's up y'all, I'm Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News and according to Ariana, imitation is actually the worst form of flattery. We love TikTok for giving us hours upon hours of sheer comedy and creative amusement, but if you're a public figure and superstar queen like Ariana Grande and you're constantly logging on to see people impersonating a skew for perception of you every hour on the hour, it's gonna get old real fast. Thankfully, Ariana has taken to Instagram to air out some dirty laundry and let everyone know her true feelings every time she sees another Cat Valentine inspired TikTok. We're gonna break down exactly what she said, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to Clever News if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you never miss a breaking news update. All right, so it's one thing to post an impersonation of Ariana as Ariana, but it's a whole other ordeal to combine an impersonation of Ariana with her victorious character, Cat Valentine. This all started back in November when an Ariana Grande lookalike named Paige Neiman made her way onto the TikTok scene and became viral after dressing and acting exactly like Ari. Seriously though, if you do a quick creep through this girl's Instagram, you think you stumbled onto Ariana's page after a little while. In one of her videos, Paige recreates one of Kat's lines from Victorious and it's actually really starting to scare me just how similar she looks to Ariana. Anyone else also officially freaked out? It's a dog toy that looks like a phone, isn't it cool? <laughs> I'm coming in now. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Toys, Mom. <laughs> Hello, Cat. Why'd you get a dog chew toy cell phone? To help me get through the week. Anyway, the video went viral and has since generated over 12 million views and hundreds of thousands of comments, both praising Paige and begging her to stop. Fans then noticed that one of the comments just so happened to be from Ariana herself after a user who tweeted the video captioned it saying, I just know Ariana is terrified, to which she kindly replied, I just wonder why the cat voice and dialogue. I'm sure she is the sweetest, sweet, sweetheart for real, but it's definitely bizarre seeing people blend the two worlds. Many fans Fans were in agreement with Ari, but some were actually defending Paige, claiming that this act of harmless creativity was just something that she picked up for fun. One user who apparently knows Paige wrote, she's actually so sweet, she's 14 to 15, I can't remember which one, and she was always told that she looks like you, so she just learned how to do makeup like yours. It's not like she has gone out of her way to get surgeries and such, it's sad how much hate she gets. Anyway, fast forward five months later to yesterday, and Ariana took to Instagram to repost the video of filmmaker Jordan Firstman doing a slew of different impressions. In one video in particular, Jordan criticized meme makers for basically taking a moment that an artist might have worked so hard for and turning said moment into one giant joke. We took a moment from that and we kind of like recontextualized it. Like, does that make sense? And like, we put a completely arbitrary meaning onto that thing that the artist loves so much, kind of like, degrading like its entire value. Okay, so this guy makes a good point and also just made me feel bad for laughing at viral memes for hours straight. But before I get to Ariana's response to Jordan's video, I wanna know what you guys think about the way we look at memes. Are you now seeing where Ariana's frustration is coming from or do you think Cat Valentine and Ariana Grande TikToks are fair game? Be sure to chime in down below with all your thoughts. But all thanks to the art of screenshotting, Ari did share her thoughts in a now deleted Instagram story along with some thoughts about the girls who impersonate her on social media. Alongside Jordan's video, she wrote, OMG, can this please also double as your impression of the ponytail TikTok girls who think doing that Cat Valentine voice and that wearing winged eyeliner and a sweatshirt is doing a good impersonation of me? Cause this is really how it feels, degrading its entire value. I scream. Ari made it very clear that she doesn't want to see herself or a variation of herself when going online like ever again. So maybe next time when deciding which TikTok video to tackle, stick with the Carol Baskin Savage remix or even a sassy voiceover of Kourtney Kardashian ABCDE. Anyway, for even more TikTok news, click right over here to see what Charlie D'Amelio's impersonator had to say about the backlash she received. I'm Emilinish Jr. and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye guys.